So the problem says it says that we are given two strings which are s and t and we have to find the minimum number of steps again i have to find minimum number of steps to make t an enneagram of s now basically an enneagram of a string is that contains the same character with a different or the same order which means that ultimately both the strings s and t should have same characters so uh, what let's say if you have a string s if you have a string t then you can for sure see that uh, uh, i just want to want them to have the same characters right ultimately in the final end so what i can do is i can simply remove the ones which are already same so in this these two are already same so i'll just remove them and ultimately i will be left with b here and a here so for sure i can just modify any one of them so right now i am just thinking i'll modify my string s only so i'll modify my string s this b character to a and then we'll see i'll become it will become a and a so answer is one which means you just have one operation you, and again uh, either you modify s or you modify t any one of them you modify you will get the answer so right now we are thinking of okay we'll modify only s to get the answer and the same way let's say lead code we had practice we had firstly we cut out the same characters okay ee -E cut out t t cut out c c cut out then i can very easily say okay this l i can transform to p this e i can transform to r this o i can transform to a this d i can transform to i and this e i can transform to c so you saw that i transformed only s and thus i would need only five operations and the same way for anagram and m a n g a a r i'll cut out every of those characters as you can see i cut out every of the characters and thus my i don't need any of the operations so you saw that firstly what we did up what we did was we cut out the characters which were actually same and then from the remaining s string or basically either you can say from the remaining t string uh, we whatsoever was remaining we just got that and got that answer so ultimately what we saw was that we will have a string s now to cut out and to not cut out it's just that okay we are cut, cutting out the elements which are also in string t so to maintain what all elements were there we can take a frequency or basically you can use as an unordered map also which is a which is a hash map and you also use a vector Although I recommend that unordered map actually both have the same time, uh, but as you know that we are have only twenty six characters, so you can make a vector of uh, vector of let's say int of size let's say frequency is twenty six, rather than unordered map unordered map of characters of int frequency. So rather than this, I'll recommend this. Although on paper both have the same time complexity, but still it is much more beneficial to actually have it like this because it takes less less space itself. Now what we did was we just simply had a frequency so as to maintain what all elements were there in S, and then I'll subtract out the frequency what all was there in T, so that whatsoever will remain in S, I'll get that as answer. Let's try, try run it. So L I increase the frequency. Okay one. E I increase the frequency. It's three. Oh yeah, how three? because e will be increased here also here also and here also okay the frequency of e is 3 in string s okay frequency of t it is actually a 1 okay frequency of c it is actually a 1 frequency of o actually a 1 frequency of d actually a 1 so now i have grabbed the frequencies of string s now what i'll do is i'll subtract out the frequency of string t bhaiya why i am doing that because you remembered that whatsoever elements were actually common Common, we are actually cutting them out. We are actually cutting them out. For example, E was here, so I know okay, one E I can also find here. So ultimately, in string S, I would be only wanting to grab two E's. So what elements are common? I need to cut out. So that cutting out is just subtracting the frequency. So okay, uh, I'll just subtract the frequency of P. As you saw, the frequency of P here was actually a zero, so it will become a minus one. Frequency of R will become a minus one. Frequency of A will become a minus one. Frequency of C will become a minus one. But yeah, how minus one? Because you will see frequency of C is actually here too. Here it itself was one. So one minus two is actually a minus one. Okay, great. Frequency of T is actually becoming a zero. But yeah, how zero? Because frequency of T was actually one here. Then T again came in. So it will become a zero. Frequency of I is again a minus one. Frequency of E is again a two. But yeah, how two? Because frequency of E here is three. One of the e got subtracted. I got a frequency of e as two. So that's how I can simply solve it. Now, 
so you saw that ultimately as it's the same frequency array so ultimately i will have frequency of l as one frequency of frequency of l as one frequency of e as two because of this being decreased right as you saw here frequency of t as zero because of this being decreased frequency of uh, c as minus one frequency of o as one frequency of d as one frequency of p as minus one frequency of r as minus one frequency of a as minus one frequency of c as minus one frequency of i as minus one and frequency of e as two so this is a frequency which i will have entirely in my entire array now what i need to do is if you remember one thing if you remember this one thing then we were saying that uh, c let's say here we saw that uh, we cut out we cut out e and e we cut out t and t we cut out c and c so we had l e o d and e so if you look back l e o d and um, l e o d and l e l e o d yeah because e you saw that uh, e we had a cut out so yeah l e o d so l e o d were actually the ones which are actually impacting my string s so l e and e again it is two times as you remember it is two times one e was this and one e was this and o and d so we will only be needing to modify these cutters which are actually positives so that's what I will do. I'll just take the ones which are having the positive frequencies. But here, what positive frequency represents? Positive frequency represents that they are the remaining characters of string S, which I can now modify them and say, okay, I can modify my L to a P so that I can transform that to a string T. So this is what I mean by modifying my string S characters. So S is nothing but, okay, it's one, it's two, it's one, it's one. If you see one, two, one, and one. And that's why I'll get the answer as five. So now you know the code is pretty simple. We'll use an unordered map. Again, I said that in an interview, you can just tell the interviewer that, okay, we can also use a vector of end of characters because it's a much more efficient way to actually have a data structure. But uh, both have the same time complexity then i will take the i'll go on and iterate on both the strings because both the strings are of same size which is n so that is representing my n size i'll go on and say frequency of that s of i i'll increase frequency of t of i i'll decrease now ultimately i go on to my frequency vector whatsoever is positive add its frequency in my answer as you saw whatsoever you saw whatsoever was for whatsoever was positive positive i'm adding that only in my answer because I know that I can transform those characters to actually my string P, sorry, string T. Now, ultimately, return the answer. By this, your time is over fine and space is over fine. And that's how you can simply solve it. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.